the FBI now involved in the investigation into the death of Dion Johnson, a state trooper shooting and killing the man on the side of the 101 near Tatum on Memorial Day. And Dion's funeral was held just today. His death, one of the reasons many protesters have told us they continued to march through Valley streets. ABC 15's Nicole Valdez following more protests out there tonight. And Nicole, that FBI announcement welcomed by many. Katie, it was the talk among those who marched again tonight. Hopeful the federal agency will answer the questions that remain, mainly why the 28 year old went from sleeping in his car to dead at the hands of an Arizona state trooper. His death rocked the valley. And every day for the last two weeks, those that march the streets shout his name in unison. Friday's march following an emotional final goodbye. Dad, we got so much pain. To the man whose death his family knows too little about. You could have been anything and anybody you wanted to. It was so smart, so loving, so intelligent. But just hours later, a spark of hope. The FBI confirming they, along with the U.S. Attorney's Office in Arizona and the Department of Justice, plan to review Dion Johnson's death for potential federal civil rights violations. Should this man be dead, um, you know, sleeping in his car on a highway, uh, there's still a lot of questions. Friday's march started with a conversation with leaders like State Representative Reginald Boulding. Anytime that you have a man shot, in the stomach, laying on the ground, handcuffed, and you have within 100 yards an ambulance that can save that man's life, and they don't, that's something that has to be looked at. No justice, no peace. And like bolding, some call it progress. Sometimes we need outside entities to correct the mistakes that the, that the police departments and cities are making. But others. I'll believe it when I see it. Still skeptical, to say the least. I would like to be hopeful, but as a young black woman in 2020, still having to sweat in 109 degrees, when this probably should have ended with my grandparents, Unfortunately, I'm not as optimistic. And for that reason and many others, these protests likely to continue. Black lives matter. Nicole Valdez, ABC 15, Arizona.